Hello, my beautiful thinking people. Welcome back to Avocation X and your host, Clyde Phillips Sr. Today, again, a very important emotional topic coming straight from my heart. Before I begin, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, share my videos with everyone you know. I believe, I truly believe, I am trying to share a lot of very, very important, possibly life-saving information with all of you. Do me a favor, get it out there. Help us get it out there. What do I want to tackle today? This one is very simple. It is very near and dear to my heart. And it is something that is emotionally my baggage to carry. I must apologize to each and every one of you who have been watching all of my videos, who have been supporting us all the way along, and even those who may be supporting in their own private way. And those that are not at all. Because even if you watch the video, you're helping to support moving us forward. And I'm very grateful for that too. So this is what I'm apologizing for. Many of my videos are emotionally charged. And there's a lot of things that I say that sometimes sound as if somebody is directly attacking me personally. Let me tell you this. Not that it never happens. Not that I don't have people who are snakes in the grass around me, which I'm sure there are. And there are some that I've caught, but it's been very few through my life. But I'll tell you, even as a kid growing up, I grew up in Montreal, Quebec, where everybody around me was pretty well French and white. And as you can see, I was not white. And I also was not born French. So you would have expected that the life of this guy's would have been absolutely horrid. And that I would have all kinds of horrible tales to tell you about how horribly I was treated and how my life growing up in Montreal, Quebec was full of racism and hatred and... No, I'm not going to tell you that because that's not true. This is what I'm going to tell you. Growing up there, it never even dawned on me that there was a difference between me and all the people I was surrounded with. <laughs> When I used to do things and get in trouble, and everybody knew it was me, I used to wonder, how come that I always get caught? Why does everybody always know when it's me who's doing something wrong? And only when I got older and I started to be faced with real, real, nasty racism, bias, prejudice, did I realize, oh my lord, of course they knew it was me. There weren't that many who looked like me. There weren't that many who were tall like me. There weren't that many who were rough like me. So yeah, it's kind of obvious they knew when it was me. So if me and 10 kids went into, let's say we snuck into Belmont Park, all it took was one person to say, yeah, I saw those kids um, sneak under the, the, the turnstiles and uh, they're in there somewhere. And it, can you describe them? Well, one of them was really tall and black and yeah, we know it is. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> this is not a sob story. This is not a poor me story. This is an apology because in a lot of my videos, it really does sound like I'm talking about me and that I've been hard done by. And I'm here to tell you and set the record straight. No, it wasn't usually about me at all. It was 99.9% .9 about the people I've observed being abused about the people I've observed being oppressed and under thumbs and under boots. Those are the things that I'm screaming about. Because why? I internalize their pain. I really do. I, 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 didn't, I never knew what an empath was all my life. I just speculated that an empath meant that, of course, you have a lot of empathy for people around you. And yeah, that's me. I have way too much empathy. So much empathy that if I saw you trip on the sidewalk, I almost feel your pain before you hit the cement. I'm already instantly, physically inclined to be running towards you to try to help you, to try to stop you from hitting that cement because I can feel the pain you're about to experience. So if that's a different type of empath or whatever, that's what I am. So accept my apology. I, I pray you accept my apology for misleading everybody so often with so many videos, making it sound like it's me who's hard done by. There are a couple of rants that I've put out there that have actually applied to me. And some of them do apply to me peripherally, but not directly. 
So please understand, when you hear me belly aching, and you hear me ranting, and you hear me talking about very touchy subjects, emotional subjects, I'm worried about you. I'm not worried about me. I've always been able to take care of myself with bullies or anything that comes around, but I'm worried about you. Please, those of you who watch this video, know from now on that when you watch my videos, pay specific attention to whether or not I was cognizant of how I was putting that out there. And if I put it out there in a way that you're unsure, please leave me a comment, ask me, right? Like so, the reason why I can say this now is because some people do reach out. They do care and they wonder, like, are you okay? Is, is everything all right? And I have to tell them, yeah, yeah, no, everything's fine. And I didn't realize the reason why they asked those questions is because my videos seem like they're always talking about me. Can you imagine if I experienced all the garbage that I talk about on the, wow, I'd be, I'd be, anyway, it wouldn't be good. Again, I apologize. I really am sorry if I gave you all the wrong impression that these things were occurring and happening to me and that I was admonishing you guys for not being there for me, for not protecting me, like when they came for me. No, it's, it's not about me that I'm talking about that. It's about the reality of what we're living in, where people are being attacked, people are being persecuted, people are being murdered, and nobody's standing up for them. I'm sorry. I have empathy. I have compassion. I love from my heart and from my mind because I know the difference between right and wrong. It may not always agree with your version, but I believe I know the difference. Some things we all do wrong, we sweep them under the rug behind us. But if somebody comes to you and says, hey, um, I, I, I was walking and I tripped over a bump in the carpet, and when I lifted up, I saw your baggage under here. For you to turn around and say, that's not baggage, you're wrong. Come on, folks, you know inside yourselves as well. When they found that baggage, it's embarrassing. That's why you don't want to admit it. Well, when it comes to me, you can admit anything. I don't care what it is. Most people know they can confide in me in any way, shape, or form because I don't divulge your secrets. But I'm telling you right now, you need to face your own secrets and you need to be able to admit to them before you can fix them. That's a lot of what I was talking about. When I talk about people being surrounded by snakes, I don't see a whole bunch of snakes around me, but I know by law of averages, there's quite a few. By law of averages. And how do I know law of averages? Because I usually see all the people around me going through these things with people who are around them. And I see how people just turn their back on each other. I see how families turn their back on, on each other. And it hurts. Most of the people who know me, who have had difficulties, let's say, oh, I hate my dad because of... I have been there to say to them, I don't think you truly hate your dad. I think you're angry with your dad. I think you're mad at your dad. I think you'd like to punch him right in the face, right? But if something were to happen to him, would it bother you? So rethink your words. You don't hate your dad. And a lot of people have been open-minded enough to understand that, yeah, they didn't hate their dads. Even somebody that I loved so deeply, you wouldn't believe who had some things to say about family members. And when I was finished with them, I never heard that out of their mouths again. And the relationship that they have with their families now, their family members, is one to bring tears to your eyes. So be careful what you say about your family, your friends, your loved ones. And again, I qualify, not talking about myself. Although I can be included in all the messages I put out, the degree to which we are each included is ours to know and ours to share if we'd like to. Okay? But remember, I'm not usually primarily talking about myself. I'm talking about the things I can see, experiences that make themselves visible to me. Okay? So remember, I never give up. I never give in. And I will always keep an open mind because that's how I gather my knowledge, which is my only power. I'll never give up my power. I will do my own research. I'll bring it to you as much as I can. Hit the like button, subscribe, share this everywhere. Let's move into the next episode. 
And remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and above all, stay as happy as humanly possible. Until next time, I love you all. Bye for now.